How are we getting on? Not too bad. Not Reasonably too bad. good after yeah, things yeah, yesterday. Better than I thought it might have been. Yeah, good. Uh, it was a bit, a bit rough overnight, but uh, yeah. uh, now it's, it, it, it's improved quite a lot today. Look, I'd expect yeah. that to start with. It's um, the, yeah. the beauty of this approach we've done is it's quite a small incision, but yeah. there is some discomfort in the, oh, yeah, in yeah, the first yeah. 24 hours. But yeah. no, it's good. And um, you're eating and drinking okay. Yeah, the yeah, problems there. Excellent. Fine. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. From the waist down, I was numb for uh, yeah. for six eight hours. Yeah, yeah that was that's all gone. normal after the spinal yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Haven't had haven't had to have a bowel movement, but no, uh, been no. able to go to the toilet to be able to pass urine. Yeah, yeah. That's that fine. was that was hard at first, but uh, yeah, well, again, that's related to the spinal fine. anaesthetic. But yeah, um, yeah. that should be fine. Yeah, look, the bowels will work in the fullness of time. I don't think we need to necessarily do anything about that. Yeah, I won't that's about fine. That. What we're going to do with the antibiotics is um, after your next dose we'll, we'll stop the antibiotics and we can get right. the drip out okay. and then you'll continue on the oral antibiotic that you were on before the operation yep. until they finish. Right. Um, generally pain over the next few days shouldn't be a big problem so uh, hopefully uh, you'll find just simple oral painkillers are going to be all you need. Um, a couple of do's and don'ts with the whole thing. Um, I've given you a sheet there that explains yes, it, yes, but like that. what's quite important to do in the first three or four days is try and keep the penis up against the abdominal wall okay. rather, up, rather, up, up, rather up, than right, tuck right, downwards. Yeah. Yeah. It just yeah. helps yeah. a little bit with the swelling mm. and it stops any scar tissue developing. So when you've got undies on, if you just keep the penis yeah. upright. Right up. yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. the yeah. second thing, which is also on mm. the sheets, is that when it's a little more comfortable in the next couple of days, just start feeling for the pump, which is down in the scrotum, yeah. and just sort of getting it and just tugging it down lower into the scrotum. Okay, they so have a little bit of a tendency to ride up, so yeah, we want yeah. to sort of keep it down lower so in the scrotum. You want that down. Yeah. So at a, at a level that's a little bit lower than the test. Yeah, that's typically yeah. what yeah. we do. Now, yeah. you know, don't don't hurt yourself by doing it. I but, don't play that. But um, yeah. if you just tug it down a little bit, yeah. and then you'll also start to find there's a little bit of thickening and swelling around the pump. So just even just massaging gently. A um, couple of times a day just helps to break up a little bit of that swelling okay. as well. Okay. But really, apart yeah. from finishing your antibiotics, we've just got a little, the, all the swelling and bruising settle down. Yeah, yeah. And it's good. Okay, well, I can see some light at the end of the day. Yeah, good, okay. Yeah. Well, like I say, you know, you're only 24 hours, I think you're doing nicely. Yeah. So um, I think you'd be right to go home today, but given that you're at home by yourself, um, we'll, yeah. we'll probably keep you this evening yeah. just to be okay. on the safe side, but yeah. uh, otherwise, proven. I think you're probably right to go. Yeah. We'll make an appointment for you to come and see me in about three weeks. Yep. I don't want you to do much at all apart from what I was saying with massaging, etc. in the meantime. Yep. But in about three weeks we should be able to inflate and deflate the device um, and probably give you a little education on that. Yep. But it may be four to five weeks before it's really comfortable enough for you to use yourself. Yep. No, yep. Okay, it all went very nicely. I'm okay. more than happy with it all. I'm pleased to hear it. And I think you've done nicely. In terms of physical activities, this, this next 48, 72 hours, you won't want to do much more than just sit around and wander around a little. Yeah, yeah. I'm very much into just common sense with this. Yeah. As you feel more comfortable, you can start doing more. But I would imagine by the end of the first week, you can do most things, apart from very heavy lifting or straining. Yeah, by the end of the yeah, second week, <laughs> yeah, yeah. by the end of the yeah. second week, you can pretty much do anything you like. Yeah, and, but yeah. I think common sense prevails here that yeah, um, yeah, as you yeah. feel comfortable, you can start getting more and more back to normal. Well, I thought in terms of going back to work on Monday week. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, think, I expect you to be fine by that stage. Yeah, um, don't plan to do anything. Yeah, so basically, a week off work and yeah. Um, yeah. the week after that, no restriction at all on physical yeah. activities. Yeah. Good. Very good. Okay, all right, so we'll plan for you to head off in the morning all being well. Okay. Very good. Okay. Hello. All the best. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello.